Now that the announcement of Pokemon Sword and Shield has arrived, fans of the series are digging for any scraps of information they can find about the new games, and that includes looking back at some old leaks that previously made the rounds and have now turned out to be at least partially true. In particular, a leak that was published on the website 4chan is now getting a second look from series fans now that the first trailer for the new games is out in the wild. Turns out this unconfirmed post seems to have gotten a lot of information right, and if the leaker had their facts straight, it could point to a few of the legendary Pokemon we'll end up seeing in Sword and Shield later this year. According to Inverse, the since-deleted 4chan post accurately listed the titles for the two games as Pokemon Sword and Pokemon Shield. The post also contended that the new region for both games would be based on Great Britain and would feature two legendary Pokemon, a metal snake and a wooden horse. The leak also teased the potential for a new type of evolution, called Armored Evolutions. It even named off a few Pokemon that could get the Armored attributes, such as Charizard, Mewtwo, Flygon, and Zeraora. Finally, the leak very specifically mentioned the Pokemon Melton, stating that the Steel-type Pokemon will play a role in both Armored Evolutions and the lore of legendary Pokemon. Wonderful, isn't it? I think we've made a new observation. Meltan will merge with each other until they evolve into Melmetal. It's a good thing you caught so many. So why should we believe this leak? Well, in some places, it appears that whoever made the post was right on the money. Not only were the titles of both games correct, but the game's new region, Gala, does seem to have some similarities to Great Britain, both in shape and general vibe. It's not a direct copy of the real-world place, of course, but you can definitely spot the similarities in some of the landmarks from the game footage that we've seen so far. Beyond those details, the rest of the leak remains unconfirmed, though the idea that Melton has something to do with creating armored evolutions is pretty compelling, not to mention on brand for the mysterious new Pokemon. Aside from its own Melmetal evolution, could armored evolutions for other Pokemon be in the creature's repertoire? We're not sure, but we hope so. It's exciting to imagine a hundred of these little guys combining together to to give Mewtwo the Metal Mario treatment. For the most part, the reveal trailer for the new games was careful not to give away too much, aside from the fact that the games look kind of incredible. Overall, Pokemon Sword and Shield looks to be delivering on what fans wanted from the series for years now, a full-fledged console RPG experience with all sorts of new places to visit and explore. And you just know there are going to be a few secrets along the way too, which makes the journey we'll take later in 2019 all the more exciting. Another round, extra shot, black as night, thank you, sweetie. <laughs> One exciting development for fans is that old-school Pokemon battles look to be making a return in Sword and Shield. After the more unorthodox titles of Pokemon Go, which took the series to mobile phones with a side of augmented reality, and Pokemon Let's Go, which toyed with motion controls, some gamers worried about the direction the series was taking. Would we ever get another mainline pair of games to sink our teeth into? Or was the series heading the way of Hey You Pikachu? Pikachu! Dance! I can't take it anymore. Thankfully, everything we've seen of Sword and Shield so far indicates the series is staying the course beneath its graphical upgrade, keeping the fundamental gameplay for the 8th generation much the same as it's always been. But what about the Pokémon? The reveal trailer introduced us to the game's three starters, and players are already picking their favorites. Sobble, the water type, seems to be the runaway winner so far among fans. But you shouldn't sleep on the fire type Score Bunny or the grass type Grookey, at least not until we know how they play. Pokémon Sword and Pokémon Shield are set to release on the Nintendo Switch sometime in late 2019. Then you'll be able to catch them all, even the legendaries, no matter where you are. Check out one of our newest videos right here! Plus, even more SVG videos about your favorite stuff are coming soon. Subscribe to our YouTube channel and hit the bell so you don't miss a single one.